My name is Mike Fresh. With me is one of the best looking commentators in the history of this business, Jason Heat. It's easy to make claims when people can't see us, and we're here on the Del Marva Sports Network where you can see incredible action here at 1CW, like this man, Ty Awesome Tyler Hastings. It's been a little bit since I've been behind the commentary desk. I've been doing a lot behind the scenes and some other stuff that's been going on. But I am so excited to be back in Houston, Delaware today. And just coming in, this guy's amazing. The home of 1CW, of course, here in Houston, Delaware, as well here on the Del Marva Sports Network. Thank you so much for watching and supporting 1CW. Sterling making his 1CW debut, but I can just tell you that this is one classy and professional gentleman, super smart, and he knows it more than you do. Ty Austin is coming off a series of big wins as he tries to work his way back into title contention. The question is, can he keep it up, especially against the significantly sized Max Sterling? Max Sterling, unfortunately, looks like he's uh, one of the men that Derek Banesh is bringing into 1CW to try to mess with his former, current, I don't know what it is anymore. Um, Derek has been officially fired by Ty Awesome. Ty Awesome's former father figure, mentor, business advisor, and manager. He's been making a cut off of Ty Awesome's money for quite a long time and now he's trying to effectively put Ty Awesome out of the business he has consistently put big bruisers dangerous men some of the top wrestlers from all over the independents up against Ty Awesome in the hope that they can take Ty Awesome out of action Ty showing off a little bit over there the highest flyer one of the flashiest wrestlers on the roster, Ty Awesome, ever since losing that one CW title, has made it basically a redemption tour. He is on a quest to win back the trust and respect of the fans and kind of prove himself in his own eyes that he can be a better man and win the title on his own. And I can tell you one thing, if Derek Badesh is bringing in Matt Sterling, he spent a pretty penny to bring him in. The most well-dressed wrestler in the world, says Max Sterling about himself, but that is hard to argue as Ty Awesome doesn't seem to be having a rough day at the office so far. And he just threw a little uh, gift to one of the fans out in the second row over there. If you've ever wanted a used cuticle comb, come to 1CW and you too may get a gift from Ty Awesome. I think it's pretty obvious who the people in Houston here want to see win tonight. A lot of chance of them to know you. This is Max Sterling's debut, and of course, if you followed independent wrestling, his reputation precedes him. This is a very smart, very capable competitor, and in so many ways, we consider Ty Awesome the wrestler with the highest IQ. There he is, off the top. Quick cover. One and a half there for Ty Awesome. He's the guy with the supply, and we like to say he's the guy with the highest IQ, but in this case, Max Sterling may actually be one step ahead of Ty Awesome. Derek Vaness trying to spoil Ty going up to the top. Nothing subtle about dazzling Derek, that's for sure. I do want to point out about Max. Well, he just gave a kick to the rope taking advantage and now Ty Awesome is feeling bad down below. One of the reasons that I talk about Max's high IQ, especially when it comes to wrestling, big scoop slam. 
He is trained, trained. He has worked with the light and trained with the likes of Lance Storm. He's trained in Chikara. He's worked at the Monster Factory. This is a guy that constantly tries to improve himself in the ring because he wants to back up what he puts out there. In a lot of ways, Max Sterling is a real throwback. If you notice, he is somebody that conserves a lot of his movements. Works smart, not hard. Very different than a Ty Awesome who likes to jump, springboard off the ropes, keep swift movement. Very different pace when Max Sterling is in control. I mean, I love it. Max Sterling's even wrestling in dress pants and dress shoes. How often do you see that? Very rarely. That is why he considers himself to be the best and most well-dressed wrestler. Quick cover. Two and a half, which is an improvement. He only had one and a half before signs that Ty Awesome may be fading and that Dazzling Derek maybe invested a pretty penny, but money well spent in bringing Max Sterling to 1CW. Ty, Ty flipping out of it. Beautiful drop kick, so precise. And not even, barely a one for Ty Awesome is gonna have to turn this thing around put a lot of work in to cut down the big oak tree that is Max Sterling. A very good looking, very classy oak tree should add. Couple of elbows to the head. Quick cover. Lateral press. That was a monster clothesline for Max Sterling. Max Sterling, the size on him. Ty Awesome realizing he is in for a fight. Ty is had a very difficult schedule. He's Coming off, fighting forces like O'Shea Edwards in the recent past. Nice whip into the corner. Max slowing this down. Ty is a very quick fighter, and if Max can keep a slower pace, like he's doing now, he is going to probably assert his will in this match in a way that Ty isn't used to. He's really forcing Ty Awesome to wrestle a Max Sterling match. Power on display right now. Great cover, great position. Very close. Looking impressive in his debut, looking to earn a little bit of extra money. Got to imagine there is a, a win condition bonus for the classy Max Sterling. Imagine what it would mean to Max if on his debut he bought he beat the guy with the supply in Houston. Crucifix bomb! Beautiful! Leading so directly close. into a pitting predicament, but Ty Awesome is obsessed. He wants Big Blue. That will be the one CW heavyweight champion currently held by Chris Wild back more than anything. And now a man alone in a company that has really become dotted by alliances and factions and groups. Ty Awesome is the Ronin, the masterless samurai of 1CW. And in talking to Ty, beautiful, in talking to Ty, quick cover. Oh, that was close. Max Sterling berating Ty Awesome to stay down. Is that just head games, or is frustration starting to build for Max Sterling? Ty, talking to him before the show, he is frustrated. He is a man almost at the end of his rope. Ty Awesome also motivated by shame and embarrassment, and we see flinging Max all the way across the ring, but Ty looking back on what he did as a member of the Styles stable, as a as a protege of Derek Banesh. And could, we say, could we say that this is a turning of the tides? Potentially, it's a little too early to see, but give the cover. Two count, Ty Awesome can keep this kind of offensive flurry up. We're gonna see a very different match than what we had been witness to. It looks like Ty is getting ready to end this. Going up. Max just threw him off, oh, big boot.
back in the spit literally out of Ty Awesome. Great positioning, center of the ring. Well done by Max Sterling. That's just a showcase of the resilience, the heart of Ty Awesome. He's the guy with the supply, and what he has is a never-ending supply of courage. I feel like both these gentlemen, every time they go for a pin, it is getting closer and closer to three. Wonderful reversal by Ty Awesome. Who Taking a little bit of time with his cover. Well, not going for a cover. Instead, deciding maybe Sterling needs a little bit more to get softened up. And now it's that high risk, high reward for the master of high flying. Get it? Guy with the supply high. Shooting star Beautiful. press. Beautiful. That is the tie awesome that I remember. This crowd is so happy. Ty Awesome motivated by the potent mix of passion, courage, shame, regret. There is a stew in the head of Ty Awesome, and it's making a meal out of people. He is on an incredible win streak, Mike. Ty Awesome, imagine if he keeps putting those wins together. Imagine what happens if he goes up against the style stable and wins Big Blue. Big Blue, which by the way, is why he wears those blue tights to constantly remind him that he wants to get that belt back. A man on a quest, a continuing mission. He's one step closer right now. Ladies and And he wants O'Shea Edwards. We may hear from Ty Awesome directly. Sounds like we're about to. Said it the best, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mike Fresh. With me is Jason Heath. This is 1CW on the Delmarva Sports Network.